So, how do you keep track of your inventory and prevent overselling if you're selling online via Shopify and Etsy? Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be going over something that completely changed the scope of my business. And what that actually is, is a Shopify application called Stock Sync by ShopUps. And what it actually does, as you know, I sell via Etsy and on Shopify. And we have multiple brands like Etsy and Shopify. And basically, embarrassingly enough, that I'm about to admit that basically we never even kept inventory of our products and because we honestly just didn't even know how because there was no way to get Shopify over here to communicate with Etsy over here based off inventory and it was too difficult when we have like 600 SKUs to basically try to keep two separate sets of inventory so basically we just never kept inventory. If you also are experiencing that issue, as you know, what you end up doing is just adding stock even though you go out of stock but you don't even know if you have the stock so then you start overselling products that you don't actually have which causes a lot of problems inside your business and unfortunately that's kind of just like what we've been doing you don't know what you don't know so but that's part of this channel and learning from your mistakes but luckily i was reached out to an application a new shopify app called stock sync that has literally changed the scope of my business so that being said let's hop into this video i'm going to share this application with you that has literally helped us change all of that um so again the stock sync app 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 <laughs> literally keeps track of all of your inventory on etsy and shopify together so if one person buys on shopify then that inventory is also going to get deducted from your Etsy inventory as well so that you actually have an accurate kind of view of what you have in stock. And so you can imagine over a year and a half later of selling, we have increased our SKUs to over like 600 SKUs. So that's a lot of freaking inventory to like not understand what you have so or have a grasp on what you're, what's actually in the room with you. So this has helped us a lot. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. By the way, my name is Hannah Gardner, and if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about documenting our journey, our entrepreneurial journey into the world of e-commerce. So yeah, if that is something that you're trying to get into or you're interested in, make sure you do subscribe to the channel because we are now putting out new videos regularly. I know I haven't posted a video in like a minute, but you know what? We got a little busy. Um, we got a new office, so that's super cool. And hopefully I'll be able to share all that with you guys here in the upcoming months as we get this YouTube thing down. All right, so basically we are going to screen share with you here and show you uh, what we got going on inside of Stock Sync. All right, so this is the app that you're gonna wanna download here. It's $19 a month, you get a 14 day free trial. And basically, once you download the app, you can watch the video in here and, you know, download it super easy. What you need to do next is what's, it's going to look like this. You're going to come up to, so this is the inside of my store. Um, let's see if it's going to load. Okay, so you sync it to your store. It's really intuitive. It takes you through the steps. But after you sync it to your store, basically what's going to happen is it's going to show you all of your products that you have listed in your store. And if you're like me and you let your business grow without setting this up beforehand, we literally spent two weeks literally going one by one, by one by one through every single item that we had to check the inventory, to check the SKU code, to make sure that the SKU codes match between platforms and to make sure that every SKU code matched not only between individual listings, but say, like I said, say I sell something in a set and you know this necklace is in one set in one listing but i also have it in seven other listings go back and make sure where does this necklace exist amongst all my listings 
and then fix the SKU code in the inventory for each one. So yes, this was a super lengthy process. This took us like two full weeks because we just have that much stuff in our business. And also it honestly just helped us a lot because it helped us get rid of a lot of stuff because honestly, I didn't even know what inventory I had. I mean, I literally would just, you know, import and bring stuff in and you know, some of it was just sitting there forever. So it really forced me to clean out my business and really hone in on what products we want to sell. So basically what happens is um, there's an automatic sync every 15 minutes. So once you download it and you connect your Etsy store and your Shopify store to this app, um, which is a super easy process, the, the back end of ShopUps updates at every single, every 15 minutes. So once you have each individual SKU, basically set up with matching SKUs on Etsy and Shopify, and then you correct the inventory between the Shopify and the Etsy. In, in 15 minutes, basically, it will sync them together. So now, when Shopify, you get a sale, sale, <laughs> a sale on Shopify for, you know, say this necklace, then it's also gonna deduct the inventory from Etsy as well. So basically, let's see if we can find one that is pretty easy to find. So let's see, for instance, COFL276, it's saying that there's zero inventory. So say I literally just got, you know, five new uh, of this SKU, right? So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to come into my Shopify store over here. We're going to log in. We're gonna go to our products. We are gonna type in our SKU here. We're going to go here. And we are going to add inventory. So we said COFL 279 has zero available. So say I just got five more in stock. I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to add five here. And remember that the SKU and the inventory has to match perfectly down to every little line and dash to make sure that it syncs together. All right, so now what we need to do, I actually think they might have updated it so you, it's automatically gonna update the other one on the other side. So let's just go back and see if it did it by itself. I think it might. Um, at this point, let's see. Five, no, so it hasn't updated yet. Um, so let's just go and match it just in case. So we updated it and also you can see, so on Shopify, because there's another zero here, what that is telling me is that I have another listing inside of Shopify that has this SKU code. So we're gonna wanna go back and make sure that we have all the listings with that SKU updated. So we're gonna go to all products. So that means I have it listed somewhere else in here. Let's see. Nope, yeah, we do, right here. On this listing, right here. COFL, CFOL 279-6. So this is where I was seeing a lot of discrepancies in my business, just like that, right? So what is that, that's telling me that I have another listing inside Shopify that I actually don't have on my Etsy store. So maybe we just missed it, we just forgot to list it on Etsy as well, whatever the case may be. And so this is where I was finding all these discrepancies in my business that I needed to fix. So, and that of course just came from us getting really busy and moving too fast and not really paying attention to detail of, you know, what's on Etsy and what's on Shopify and what needs, do we want this on Etsy or why isn't this on Etsy and like have those conversations. So we're going to actually have to change the inventory on this one as well. So the COFL 279-6 and we're going to, oh, look it, it updated the inventory for us, I believe. Oh, yep, yeah, look at that. Cool, so this is actually a new update, which they did tell me they were gonna do, but now I'm seeing it live. So actually, you don't even have to make sure, all you have to make sure is that the SKU codes are the same, and now it's synchronizing it for you, because as you just saw, I didn't even have to go in and update the inventory on this one or this one, I just did it by myself. So 
that's great. That's actually a new thing with that. So that makes your life even easier. So you just need to update the inventory and make sure that the SKUs are matching and you are good to go. But yeah, this has been a huge game changer and now, you know, we don't have to go, you know, you don't have to come in here and even scroll here through here to see what you're low on. You can literally, you know, just go to your, you know, you can go to your listings here and Etsy and basically, you know, how they show your inventory, how much is in stock and just go through here and see what you're getting low on and, you know, base your new, you know, what new products you need to make or what products you need to order or what materials you need to order based off of that. So the video actually just got cut off there. We had a little technical issue, but basically I just want to say thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. And if you did get any value out of it, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel and download StockSync if this is a problem that you're also experiencing as well. Um, so yeah, then again, thanks guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.